things. Welcome back to Sinking City. Oh my god, stop that. Um, what do I have marked down? Oh, the thing. Okay, but first of all, we are meant to meet our dear Mr. Carpenter. Wait, is there any reason for me to be here or is it just because we've... Yeah, if... Oh no, we were just bailed out. Then let's go and meet our savior. I wonder what he has in store for us in exchange. Because, you know, it's never for free. And actually we'll meet Mr. Com Carpenter himself, hopefully, and not his doppelganger. Is that what the have been interesting for sure. Uh, is that the right way? I... Yeah, that is. Right, right around here. I wonder if there's other way inside. Was that private property? Hobos, beggars, and squatters will be shot. Don't do that. Don't you have work to do? Yeah, I guess I'm trying to do my work if only the game cooperated with me. Hello. A little blackmail, a little larceny, a worthwhile scrap or two. Just like the old days. Hmm. You sound grateful for things to be like good old good good old times. And the sunny is gone. The letter is gone. I wonder what happened to him. He's probably dead somewhere. Yeah. Mr. Carpenter, glad to see you in good health. Yeah, I'm glad too, kid. It was hard to make it here in one piece after all that turmoil. I never expected this from my own son. I'm sorry for that. Yeah, never mind. Nothing wine, women, and song can't fix. I'm still going strong, kid, if you know what I mean. I didn't see Graham here. What happened to him? I had to ensure my own survival, kid. I don't think you want to know more than that. I wanted to thank you for bailing me out of jail. That was very helpful. Yeah, sure, kid. But you must understand that your freedom ain't yet insured. They still have a witness against you. Milton Pierce. I can make sure the police swallow whatever I feed them. But I need some morsels to offer. You get me, kid? You need evidence of my innocence. Find the one to blame and let my taskmaster know. Old Brutus will do the rest. Who is this Milton Pierce? Ah, another rich rascal running for mayor. Nothing special. Just your typical Reed Heights scum. Do you know where I can find him? No idea, kid. From what I've seen in newspaper interviews, he's all over this town. Thank you. I should go. Wait a second, kid. Take this. It's a fine tool for sticky situations. Make good use of it. Will do. Thanks. Yeah. Watch yourself, kid. Whoa, thank you. Okay, so we're supposed to see newspapers agency, I guess. Or the Oakman Chronicle. Who are you? You weren't here before. Hmm, suspicious. Haven't heard from Mr. Togmorton in a while. Well, I guess the case is closed. Oh, can we visit him and talk a bit? Okay, I get it. They still eat the cake. Oh, it's so amazing. Oh! I found Harriet Doe, but... But... Things did not go as planned. She didn't make it. What? I pay you to find someone and you come here hat in hand bleating that she didn't make it. She was our last chance to discover what is wrong with this city. What happened to her? All I know is she tried to flee the underwater temple of the Order. I think she probably drowned. How on earth could this happen? You were meant to have it under control. 
I don't even know how I got out of there alive. I couldn't do anything, Mr. Throckmorton. I'm sorry. Useless. Any other bad news to report? There's something ancient below this city. Ruins of some kind. They drive people insane. Or, rather, what lies within does. <laughs> Not since. I expected better. I'm talking about the very ruins your people were sent to explore. Didn't end well, did it? You seem intent on ruling out rational explanations in favor of the inane. Believe me, there's nothing rational about this. That is for me to decide. Ruins. Hmm. Perhaps another expedition is in order. It will take some time to organize. As for you, I don't need your services on this case anymore, Mr. Reed. Here is your payment. Adjusted for your failure to retrieve Harriet. Of course. Have a good day. Of course, still. What? That's dirty. There's nothing I could do to save her. I could have killed her on spot. Oh well. This we've got. Hey, and it. it wait, where, is, where are my skills? And it, it is double. <laughs> Whoa, really? That's just dirty. Yeah, my reward was double because of my skill. So you. <laughs> normally, you will get two shotgun shells. Not one. You're not four. Sorry. Just dirty. Well, yes, we'll be able to. F I hope we'll be able to find some information about our little witness who saw nothing. Hello, can we talk? Stay safe. No. Okay, so it's. Something here. Milton Pierce, all I know is this someone in Red Heights. Okay. He's confirming from Mayor, had an interview in newspaper. Because an interviews people, officials. Today, our correspondent had the chance to roam the beautiful alleyways of Eastern Red Heights, all for the sake of interviewing one of the most promising political figures in Oakmont. Pierce's property, an apartment building tucked away on Museum Avenue between Communion Road and Hillock Street, is definitely a grand site, but Mr. Pierce takes pains to assure us he is in touch with the needs of the humble man, meeting regularly with community leaders. Okay, let's put that down then. Eastern Reed Heights, Museum, Museum Avenue between Communion Road and Hillock Street, so it will be somewhere here. Do we have any? Oh, this one's the closest one, I think. Yeah, so we will use it. I'm also I'm thinking about going back to the motel just for a quick change of clothes, to be honest. Because I think we're running third case already? With this coat? I don't think anything is gonna happen. Yeah. So let's go... Oh, of course, this is block. So it means we'll have to go through here. Well, no, we don't have to go all the way. We can just use our quick... Teleportation spell. I wonder how it works. Oh, actually, no, we're near the. We're in the booths. Phone booth? Maybe we're calling a cab or something. Where is it? On the left. Here? Yeah, it looks like it. Oh. I'm watching you. Newcomer. Of course you do, of course. Which ones of the rooms is mine? This one's mine. 
Oh, something new. Oakmont University has lost one of its most esteemed teachers, the professor of biochemistry from the Department of Medicine, Dr. George Cavendish, PhD, turned out to be responsible for numerous deaths. This maniac appears to have poisoned multiple innocent bystanders in recent days, leaving the academic world shaken. While some of his colleagues admit that with his passion, he seemed capable of anything, others, others characterize Characterize, characterize him as a talented researcher and law-abiding citizen. His ex-wife, Anna Little, appeared relieved by the news. He finally got what he was he finally got what was coming to him, she said. I'm glad that the EOD was able to clear its good name after all he did to us. Oh in sad news of many at Oakmont University, beloved scientist Harriet Doe was has passed away. The professor of archaeology was found washed up at Calm Shore Marina by a passerby. The Oakmont Chronicle would like to express our sincere condolences to everyone who knew and loved Harriet Doe. Oakmont will mourn the loss of a mind with few peers. The Blackwood Marsh Canning Factory was last night the site of some sad and unusual events. According to two neighbors, inhuman screams and shouts in an unknown language could be heard for several blocks. Witnesses also reported seeing flashes of light in an unnatural color they struggled to describe. Ebernaut Blackwood, the final representative of the Blackwood ground family, was later found dead inside the factory. The cause of death could not be established, but with it comes the end of one of the pillars of Oakmont society. In recent days, Oakmont has experienced odd outbreaks of sudden madness. They seem to be spreading throughout the city, seemingly at random, though witnesses report, unseen, un report seeing university scientists at the local location of the outbreaks. Dr. Philip Grant of St. Mary's Hospital believes it is all due to peculiar kind of helminth infestation that apparently originated somewhere around the university. He advises citizens not to neglect their health and to visit the hospital for a highly effective anti-helminthic treatment at the first signs of disease. Misfortune has struck the Carpenter household. Graham Carpenter, the son of the Grand Family's head, Brutus, has been found dead in his room. Doctors suggest the death was the result of fo food poisoning and have pointed the finger at bad fish as the cause. Carpenter's uh, senior cremated his son with all due honors and immediately returned to active participation in city life after a long vacation. I do not have time to mourn, he told our reporter. I have more important things to do. What happened? Okay. What's that? Oh, it's the thing again. Oh, I wonder how many cousins I. Hmm. I I didn't get to see because I wasn't going back to my room. Which one do we Oh, that's so nice! Yeah, how can I collect all by the missing. collect all the missing tombs? Oh, okay, I don't have this one. Rip, help a real estate agent in their open house case. Rest in peace case. Story progression. I think I wanna be. Hmm, let's go with gangster today. Okay. 
okay now i know to come back to my room after every case so maybe gain some things in return where am i supposed to go oh somewhere here so let's go to the advent west waypoint and we'll look for a boat oh we will find one very close where am i there i like how the suit looks okay just a quick one here and keep on going straight okay i see no this one's unlocked mm, i'm trying to look for some new waypoints on my compass but i don't really see any oh, well is this the one i don't think so oh it is Okay, now that might be our house. It is. This guy sure had some blood on his hands, literally. Damn. Don't I don't want to go downstairs? Wasn't there? Oh, it's locked. I really am experiencing some problems with. He must be taking his election campaign very seriously. Experiencing some strange problems with opening padlocks lately. Milton, my earnest friend, it's been a while since we last met, and I wish to remind you that my door is always open for you to pay me a visit. How about we finally hold that seance? We've been talking about for so long. I expect to see you at the Crown Theater soon. Only yours, Johannes. Is he planning to become the Prince of Oakmont, or is this just some light reading? Who knows? Though everyone's insane he aren't here. From this day forward, a new vision will guide our city. From this day forward, it will be Oakmont first. Every decision made on trade, on fishery, on newcomers and insmelfers will be made to benefit the people of Oakmont. We must protect the boundaries of our city from both outsiders and the, the forces of nature. Let's make Oakmont great again. Emptier than a banker's heart. Really? Someone got changed here in a hurry. Hmm. Bathroom door is closed. I definitely kept some dirty clothes here. You can see the blood splatter. Don't. There, Mr. P Pierce. Despite all the differences we might have had in the past, I can't but admit that today I see you as one of the most promising candidates for mayor. Oakmont needs a strong hand, which you surely can provide. Don't expect any financial financial support from my side. I believe one running for mayor should possess the requisite financial means, but otherwise you will have my full assistance. Respectfully, Robert Fogmorton. Not a knife. Shape is familiar. I've seen similar daggers before. Surely did. Mr. Pierce, on behalf of our community, I want to express a huge gratitude for everything you do for us. Very few of the shakeholders here show compassion to the Innsmouth descendants, and you are a rare exception. Please accept this dagger as a sign of our friendship, and proof that while we maintained this connection, no one from our side will dare to harm you. Yours, Anna Cavendish. Of course. It's gonna be connected to E D to the E O D. The the blood was spurting out of him, Robert. Just spurting out. Oh, it's all over me. Okay. Ah, where's my Dane tie? I should have been at City Hall by now. 
Voters won't meet and greet themselves. Get these out of my sight, Robert. Isn't that why we have a laundry room downstairs? Okay. Time to figure this out. Yes. First one, then he went to get a drink. Chain. Ah, where's my dang tie? I should have been at City Hall by now. Voters won't meet and greet themselves. Nope. I'm pretty sure this. This was first. Blood was spurting out of him. Then he went to take a drink. Ah, where's my get these took a sight, change of Robert. clothes and then. Isn't that why we have a laundry hmm. room downstairs? Yeah. Tom Pierce came home covered in blood. He ordered his butler to take his clothes downstairs and went to meet voters at City Hall. I don't know the last downstairs. Do I have to? I probably do. Okay, let's heal up first. Okay. And this is now very gangster. Okay. These are newly. Armed submachine gun. Based on past experience, leaving it here was not the best idea. The smell of blood can attract all sorts of unwanted visitors. But that's not all. Interesting. <laughs> There's all this stuff that I cannot carry. Anything? for the kind of I think is kept in a very good state and there won't be any hole in the roof I can use who the hell are you okay you just came in and then went out it's totally understandable. Hmm. I think there's one more clue I can find here and it's gonna be annoying. Oh. While Milton Pierce may not yet be fully fledged member of the Open Le Legislature, he has already proven his fitness for the role during his election campaign, not only in word but also in deed. First, Mr. Pierce has prepared to and put into operation a new water supply project for Oakmont. He is also actively engaged in greening of the city, planting trees in suburban areas and proposing new park spaces for recreation and community events. Second, his campaign promises, se promises seem to have struck a chord with the public. Most notably, Pierce has advocated for the construction construction of a wall around Oakmont to pre prevent the influx of newcomers. It is just hyperbole of or could Pierce really do it? We'll find out if or when he wins the election. And we found everything. Okay, let's delete this one. Oh my god, let's check out this and this because no one likes those exclamation marks okay <gasps> there was my God damn it. there was my diary I think it was mine oh uh, oh the doctors at the boston asylum were looking for a way to fix me proof to be at all order. At first they would ask me a question, I thought my story would be reported to the officials, but they were just making a list of things to fix. No, I think I read about that already. Okay. Oh, city hall. <laughs> There's a laundry, of course. Hmm. No, I don't think anything's gonna connect right now. Whoa! You are very... 
nicely dressed fella that's for sure and that's really unusual <laughs> oh i think we are in the richer district right now this the way no 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 go there because we want to get to city hall as fast as possible. Yeah, let's go. Okay, should be here, right? Yeah, that's the place we're looking for. I hope. Wait, where am I? Yeah, it is. I don't know why my marking on the compass is so little, as if it was very far away. Interesting. Hello? Stop bothering me, newcomer. Of course I will be bothering you. Oh, this is the guy. Bet you didn't expect to see me. How are you here? You should be in jail. I have good friends who bailed me out. I just want to talk. Well, okay. If you wish. Why did you claim I did it? Excuse me? Why wouldn't I? A friend of mine was killed. Why should I let that go? You saw the real killer. Tell me who it was. Wanna know what I saw? I saw a bloody newcomer rush in, murder Johannes, and stroll out like it was no big deal. You're certain it was a newcomer? How can you be so sure? Trust me. Oak Manners know a newcomer when they see one. We locals can tell. You know I didn't do it. Quite the opposite, Reed. I saw your face. Or are you going to claim it wasn't yours? You seem like a rational man, Pierce. Can't we come to an arrangement? Are you attempting to bribe a politician, Mr. Reed? What makes you think I'd accept such an offer? I'm sorry. I must be thinking of a different Milton Pierce. But let me tell you. My beloved mother is so old, and so rich. I'll miss her dearly when she's gone. Well, that's a non sequitur. Mr. Reed, how do I put this? I find my campaign hamstrung by a distinct lack of resources. Ah, <sighs> so it's about the money after all. I fear that all the budget pressures are affecting my cognition. If the situation were improved, perhaps I'd see things more clearly. For instance, I might suddenly realize I'd mistaken you for someone else. You could even remind me of whom. How could you propose such a thing? Against your own mother, no less. You're a heartless monster. I won't do it. Don't get emotional, Reed. Go for a walk. Breathe the salty air, then picture your execution. Perhaps with some perspective, you'll reconsider. I doubt it. Whatever you say, sir. I'll just leave you this bottle and her address anyway. And Reed, don't come back here after. People shouldn't see me with you. No, I'm not gonna kill her. Why would I kill an old lady? Really? Oh, and I'm really supposed to do that, eh? There's a lesson bottle of stri strychnine? Hmm. Maybe I can talk to her about that. Northern Oak Grove. Beacon Street near Bullock Street. Okay, so it's somewhere here. Ah! Killer's <laughs> probably the press the sellout. Suspected newcomer. Killer was. If Milton Pierce correct, the man who shot Vanderberg is a newcomer. I learned that he murdered recently and was forced to commit the crime out of fear for his family. There should be a marriage license somewhere that may help me find him. Hmm. Nope. 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 The bloody clothes in Pierce's house can be used as evidence against him. Still, I'll need something more to accuse him. Oh, sorry. And that's all. 
Hmm, for the person you can learn that he married recently, yeah, and I could find it. I should be able to find it in City Hall, after all. Let's see it. Sit. Mm, here. Subject citizens, period offer the float registry. Legal documents? Citizen records? Occup occupation? No. Hmm. Oh, newcomers, right. Hereby certified that Glenn Gordon Byers and Evelyn Catherine Lane reside, residing at the Revenue House on the corner of Powder House Street and Orchard Avenue, Eastern Shelves, were united in marriage in accordance with the license issued by the city of Oakmont, Massachusetts, numbered blah. So we found the guy. Uh, Eastern Shelves, Shelves. Orchard Avenue. Powder house. Okay, so we'll meet the guy first. Hopefully, we can get him to admit he murdered the guy. Thus, clean our name. But for now, that's gonna be it. I'm gonna meet you at, in the eastern shelf. For now, thank you very much. Bye bye.